Hey, Tony here. For today's slipcover Saturday, I'm gonna show you my best of Warner Brothers double feature and triple feature slipcovers. Um, there was a time where Warner Brothers was re-releasing a lot of their titles in double packs, which was great. It's a great way to um, own a lot of their movies. Um, so I do have quite a bit of them. So first up, we do have American History X and A History of Violence. Both are excellent movies. I would highly suggest both of these. But taking a look at the slip, they all are going to look very similar. They're gonna have the blue border. They're gonna have the best of at the top, with um, best of Warner Brothers. And they're gonna have the um, Warner Brothers logo. So this right here says Warner Brothers 90 years. So first up, we do have this one with some clips of the movies on the back. Next up, we have Bloodsport and Time Cop, another great feature. And then we have Collateral Damage and Eraser. Really like these two films, two great, two great movies. And then we have Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, and Clint Eastwood is Dirty Harry and Magnum Force. Really great films. So when they do say the best of, they're definitely talking the best of. We have Clint Eastwood and The Enforcer and Sudden Impact. We have Clint Eastwood in Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. Two fun films to watch. If you've never checked these out, these are two great ones to also to look for. We have I Am Legend and The Omega Man. Now, of course, I have seen I Am Legend. I've never seen The Omega Man before. It does star um, Charlton Heston. I do need to check that one out. We have Practical Magic and The Witches of Eastwick. So if you want to own the, uh, the, the Witches of Eastwick on Blu-ray, I believe this is the only way that you can own that film. It's through that double pack. And we have Miss Congeniality and Miss, Conge uh, Miss Congeniality 2. Two fun films with Sandra Bullock. I really enjoyed both of those. We have The Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions. And we have Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2. I really love this one. Um, I do not believe that either of these films came with Either one of these individual releases actually came with a slipcover, so it is nice having a slipcover for these. I enjoyed, I, I enjoyed Scooby-Doo. Um, Scooby-Doo 2, I don't really remember much about that one. Um, but I definitely remember seeing this one in the theater with my kids when they were young. Okay, we have Shiloh and Saving Shiloh. From what I, from what I understand, these are pretty good family films. I've never actually seen either one of those. So let me know if you've seen those and what you think about them. Okay, we have Under Siege and Under Siege 2, which is a great double pack with Steven Seagal. Both of these, I really enjoyed both of these action films. Okay, for the triple, um, Best of Warner Brothers triple features, I do have 16 blocks, The Last Boy Scout and Last Man Standing. So of course, this um, set features Bruce Willis. And another triple feature we have is 300, Troy, the director's cut, and, a and Alexander Revisited, the final cut. So, very, very good um, films. All of these are really good on this one. I don't remember very much about Alexander. I don't remember liking that one too much, but I definitely enjoyed Troy and 300. And here's the back. So those are my double features and triple features for the best of Warner Brothers. Of course, I do have other um, double features, triple features, and four film collections um, that hopefully I'll get to show in the future. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular titles and what you think about these um, particular slip covers. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.